Alright then, welcome back. Today we're going to be fitting our headliner shelf. We're going to take advantage of the fact that we have currently removed the headliner, which if you want to watch how to actually remove the headliner of a Sprinter slash Crafter van, then, uh, you know, click whatever. <laughs> Now, a headliner shelf is going to have a bit of a twist, as in this part will not have a headliner. It's just a matter of uh, whether we're going to keep in the headliner here. So we need to work out how the shelf is actually going to be supported. The shelf is going to sit roughly here. So the cables can sit on top of this one, but they can't sit on top of this one. So we've repositioned these clips here just so that the wiring harness now, instead of going on top, now comes beneath this one and just rests on top of this one. After maybe half an hour or 40 minutes, a long, long time, we managed to draw two not straight lines on our van, marking roughly where the shelf is going to sit. This should be the rough bottom edge of the shelf. We're gonna use a lat contour gauge to mark the contour of that line and mark it on this cardboard. I don't understand this. The videos make it look so easy. Alright, so the carbon model is really flimsy. I don't really trust it to like just pick it up and put it on a piece of wood and actually just, you know, cut against that. So let's see what kind of wood we have, see if we can recycle anything. Alright, so there must be a piece of wood. <laughs> that we could recycle and use, don't you think, guys? Man, that's a big shelf. We don't have a piece of wood here that fits. I mean, probably the plywood will, but I'm not building our headliner shelf out of three mil plywood that I can bend with my hand. So is being you open? The choices were 12 mil or 80 mil, so we decided to go with the 80 mil because it is quite a long um, shelf and it will start sagging. So now that we have a board that can fit the width of our headliner uh, we need to actually measure it properly because the cardboard as you saw was properly floppy. Because the two sides are not entirely identical because the cables and the van curves it's very hard to get any sort of uh, fixed point so the only real option that we have left is to try and use the midpoint and what we mean by that is measure the full length distance across in multiple points and then the vertical distance between those two points and then when we're drawing it on the plywood start from the midpoint so have those distances and go across so now that we have the uh, horizontal lengthwise distances we're gonna draw a center line here and we're gonna measure away from that center line going out did not go all the way so for one thing we forgot one of the cable holes which is the one directly at the back in the center also we encountered a few problems with the back fitting uh, due to the the thickness of the the ply this is the back of the the shelf and this is where it really kink, uh, kinks in now according to our measurements uh, we don't need to put a uh, kink but because of uh, the damage that got caused when we were trying to put it in see those there's a few like chips and a few like teeth here now that is caused by things that the shelf obviously hit while trying to stuff it in so if I chip maybe about a centimeter it will make putting it in a lot easier right so somebody I'm not naming any names here cut the hole for the back wires at the front of the shelf. So if you can figure out or have any suggestions what we could use this semicircle for that's going to be at the front of our shelf, uh, please leave your suggestions and comments down below in the comment section. So now let's cut the hole on the correct side. 
after a non-determinate amount of time of sanding, chopping and etc and making stupid mistakes now we're up to dry fit 2 that's in that's in you will take yeah so the next thing on the agenda is to cut the headliner now you don't have to do this to your van this is completely optional you can install the headliner shelf uh, within this headliner but because we want to optimize the amount of space, uh, storage space that we use in the van, we've decided to cut the headliner so to get rid of the, the, the flaps on the side. If you look in your van, this, the chances are you, if you have a sprinter or a crafter, you have these huge cavities on the side. I'm thinking this is going to take a few cuts. So first we're going to roughly cut, cut it and then we're going to reinsert the headliner and then we can see exactly uh, the, the level line with uh, the, the van frames and, and such. Alright, so the issue of doing a van conversion is that when you get into it, you're actually doing about three to four things at the same time. So we're buying stuff for the headliner, the installation, the electrics, etc. So essentially you're doing about, uh, I don't know, three to four to ten different lines of the project at the same time, which is how you start messing up and stop thinking about what you're doing, such as you cut <laughs> your headliner too much. This is fine, this is exactly as I said it would be, but I completely forgot that we need to cover the sides as well. Now the remainder of the headliner I think is okay, we, we could try and patch it up and make it look nice. I don't know how, but we will. So our shelf rests on this rib, so ideally this rib and the edge of this should be in line. They're not right now, but that was as planned. So if you decide to copy us for whatever reason, please feel free to cut your headliner all together so you don't have to deal with this join because now we have to you know cosmetically struggle to make this look cool all right so this is prototype a a bit more rough around the edges than i was thinking you know what i'm thinking though i don't like this color that much it's too silvery well I would say let's just paint it. Well, actually, our choices of color right now in the garage are black, red, and gold. So I think we're gonna go with black. Plus, you know. The red would look cool. It would, but. <gasps> red but... and gold, we can make it Iron Man suit. Right, okay. Um, Katala is now gonna be called Iron Man from now on. Imagine having a Jarvis in the van, though. Like having the van as Iron Man and the computer system inside a Jarvis. Alright, so here is our newly repaired headliner. There you go, like nothing ever happened. Now, honestly, considering the mess we made of things, it turned out pretty well, even better than I thought. We're about ready to start putting the shelf up and covering it in fabric, uh, except that we just realized that it'll be a bit tricky to insulate uh, said space so once the shelf is in, because the shelf is quite deep. So, holes on, on the shelf, uh, let's do the front cabin insulation. So we've gotten ourselves a few rolls of uh, recycled plastic insulation. <laughs> and then we're going to put on uh, some reflectics. I don't think you should be trusted with that. Why? That smile was too devious. <laughs> I don't think you're cutting the right thing. <laughs> They're not sharp enough.
animation is done, the next thing to do is to make it look prettier. Uh, so we have ourselves a roll of four-way stretch uh, carpet and we have chosen to go with uh, black because we don't really fancy grey, we usually end up just spray painting anything we see that's grey. So we just went with, with black. Guys, this is incredible, I'm awesome, I have three hands. What are you shouting about? <sighs> see, no need to add extra workouts into my routine. this job that is now as complete as it really can be so let me just give you a quick tour before we continue so we have contoured it to this rib so we can still see it and put our planks or whatever we need to structurally put in there then here as you can see there's plenty of wire so we have to be very careful when cutting and when sticking and here we just left it loose so we can still access the wire and also this is relatively easy to unstick in my opinion if we need to ever repair something on this side. So you need to put all the pieces back in, the headliner piece, the actual shelf, the four plastic pieces, two down the front and two down the side. We need to mark and drill the holes for the brackets and then put the black fabric over everything that we wish. spray painting this and that is because we will not be spray painting it. We're going to cover this whole thing in our new black fabric. So we're going to be putting the carpet on the headliner first because we can't bolt it into the van with uh, the uh, sun visors and then put the carpet on after that. It's finally time to stick the fabric onto the shelf and finally finish this. Alright, so the shelf, for all intents and purposes, is done. Let's go give you a close look. So overall, I'm really happy about how this turned out. I know it took a long time for us to do, but I think it's definitely worth the effort that we put in. So what we really wanted to achieve is this seamless join between where the headliner is and where the underneath of the shelf is. And I think we've achieved that nearly perfectly. It's perfectly smooth and seamless, even around the light fixtures. And then up here above the sun visors and such, there's still a shelf. Still nice and stable because we bolted it back in, but it's now got a nice black ceiling. And the other most important thing that we did is we covered our cosmetic boo-boo that we did right here. Because normally what we would have done is just spray painted it black. As that didn't work and it still looked a bit iffy, we just coated it all. Now we can't even see a join. It's just... It's just hidden. So there you go, that's our take on the headliner shelf. If you have any questions about what we did in more detail, then ask them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos upcoming in the future for our van build, and we'll catch you next time. So we've got ourselves a few rolls of... Uh... <laughs> Try again.